there are already thousands of models out there. Every day, we see that new models are popping up everywhere of every kind, whether it is for text generation or it is for multimodal or a mix of those. Models are everywhere. But how can we tell which model is a good one or a performant one and which one is not? How do we evaluate the models? This is where this new framework, which is called as HEM, might come handy. HEM stands for Holistic Evaluation of Language Models. If you are a Kubernetes user, don't confuse it that HEM Package Manager of Kubernetes. It is just an abbreviation in terms of generative AI where we do holistic or a full-blown comprehensive evaluation of LLMs. This primarily entails to a Python package which is called a CRFM HEM and that package contains code used in this HEM framework. This has been built by Stanford CRFM Stanford CRFM stands for Center for Research on Foundation Models or CRFM. As this website says, it is simply an interdisciplinary initiative born out of Stanford Institute for Human-Centered AI. And I'll drop the link in video description so that you can read more on it. Also, they have a paper on it which again you can read through and i already have done a video on it and you can search it on my channel okay coming back to our hem framework as i said this is simply a python package it contains all of these collections for example it contains collection of data sets in standard format that is natural questions and then it is also contains some initial models uh, via a unified AP and these models contain Bloom, GPT-3 and various other. Plus, you can also have some matrices on the basis of efficiency, bias, toxicity and a lot of other parameters and then so on it goes on and on. The very good thing about this is that it also have a very comprehensive documentation where they have some um, quick starts, tutorials, installation instructions also. This is the section where you can go and check which models are uh, supported by this CFR, CRFM HEM. And this is a comprehensive list you can see. It contains Jurassic from this creator AI21 Labs. And if you scroll down, it has a lot of other models. And I believe most of the models which you hear and are quite stable are included in this list. If you go back to the top, you will see that when it was updated. So the last update date is in 24th of October. So not, not that long ago as today is just simply uh, when I'm making this video 13th of November. Okay, cool. Now let me quickly show you how you can get it installed locally and then play with it. I'll be using AWS EC2 instance, a G4DN instance with one GPU, but you can have any similar instance. If you have GPU on, on your laptop, you can use that or uh, any similar cloud instance. Let me quickly show you the version of my Linux instance. So I'm using Jemmy with 22.04 Ubuntu, so pretty latest one. The first thing you need to do in order to install it is to install Conda because it makes so easy to run this hem through Conda. So let's first install Conda. In order to install Conda, let's first download it with wget. Let's wait for it to load. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. Now let's quickly check the checksum of this Conda. Checksum is correct. And now let's run this bash script. Let's enter spacebar, 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 and type yes here. Press enter. And it is going to unpack the payload and get it installed. It takes around one minute on my system. So, dependent on your hardware, let's see how long does it take. But it shouldn't take too long. It's not that 
heavy packet so let's wait for it to finish after a while you will see this screen so just type yes here to initialize conda and then that's done let me clear my screen and then source it so that it will be in your environment and you can see that we are in the base environment now which is good in order to check if conda is installed just type conda info and there you go you have all the model all the version and model of conda here so we are all good let me clear my screen and now that's done so once conda is there now we can go ahead and get it installed so in order to get it installed the hem first we need to create an environment through conda and the command is very simple it is conda create dash n crfm hem and then python version and pip it is collecting the package metadata and installing just type y and it is getting installed so let's wait for it to finish you don't take too long that's done and now simply active let me clear the screen and then activate the conda by typing so there you go now we are in this directory now all you need to do is to install pip install crfm here just type pip install crfm dash m and it is going to install it let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long and you can see that it is it has detected my nvidia card let's wait for it to finish it has finished installing now let's me clear my screen and now let's create a run configuration so the first step in order to create the run spec or run configuration for this hem is to run this command which is primarily creating a run specs.conf in this run spec.conf what we are doing is we are first creating this mmlu uh, with the subject philosophy mmlu stands for massive multitask language the MMLU scenario implements this massive multitask language benchmark from a paper which I have already discussed in one my one of my another video. And this primarily consists of a question answering task using a data set from 57 subjects such as elementary mathematics, US history, computer science law, and much more. So and we are going to use the model gp2 from hugging face and historically this gp2 model performs pretty badly on this mmlu and that is why we are using it for our benchmarking so let's run it and let me quickly check my that's yes, so run spec is already there let's get it and the entry is there which is good now let's run the benchmark and this is a command to run the benchmark so we are passing it the newly created run specs.conf and then it's a version one and we are just saying it that evaluate max eval instance is just 10 let me run it there you go it is running let's wait for it to finish It is still running as you can see it is around 21 percent done and on the screen you can see the eta which is under four minutes and it is also showing showing you the speed it is so primarily what it is doing it is running that mmlu on that gp2 model the bigger the model the bigger the data set the longer it will take so let's see how long does it take on my system with one gpu let's wait for it to finish Benchmarking is almost done. Let's wait for it to finish. 
loading the model load and model is quite small around 548 meg which is cool and you can see at the top what i was referring to the question answering task from the data set which is just downloaded it has also created some cache with the config the model is almost done that's cool just setting the pad tokens cool so that is finished let me clear my screen now let's summarize the results that is done very cool and now in the last step we can start our ham server let me clear my screen this is a command to start your ham server now when you start this ham server it will start this server at port 8000 on your local host so if you have a firewall and if you want to access it in browser you need to uh, open that port in your firewall if you are for example using ec2 instance you need to open that 8000 port in your security group so let me start it so you can see that it is now listening on my http on my public address on port 8000 and now let me show you it in the browser how it looks like and you can already see that on terminal because i already have opened the browser here the hem and it is on the terminal it is showing me the all the log what is happening in the browser so if you go to the browser this is where all the benchmarking is done and if i scroll down here this is just showing us all the scenarios how many matrices it has done keep scrolling down and it it is showing you efficiency calibration mmlu and lot of other things a very very comprehensive work and uh, for instance uh, if you click here for example on the results here it is going to show you all the results on that model and then you can uh, deep down further it also gives you the description the group and lot of other things how, how many adaptation method it has used prom tokens and then it goes on and on for example if you click on this mmlu it is going to show you that the model we use for gp2 from hugging face and this was it 10 main robustness fairness and then uh, number of evaluation done nine and then so on and so forth so pretty cool i guess um, and i hope that you liked it too if uh, you you're struggling then let me know and i'll be happy to help out with these steps before i close out this video uh, another cool thing about this is that it is not just confined to gp2 model you can integrate it with any hugging face model and you can do a lot of other things if you go to this um, github repo it is going to show you a lot of other things which you can use so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please put them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much